Stellar Blade is the gift that keeps on giving. Well, we're back at it again with another update on the Stellar Blade drama. The culture war is so tiresome, isn't it? Fortunately, we have some good news on this game today. Tubi and Eve have been confirmed to have a Yuri H scene in the post credit scene of Stellar Blade. What? I'm just kidding, but imagine if that was true. You can make that fantasy come to life in a little game called Koikatsu, previously IGN, one of the most ignorant gaming journalist outlets of all time by the way. IGN France made a claim that Stellar Blade's creator has never seen a woman. We've already proven that to be false. The creator is married to one of the staff who also designs characters for Shift Up, mind you. They also hired a Korean model to be scanned into the game in order to create the ideal body for Eve. Shin Jae Yoon is her name. And my god! Isn't she just gorgeous? IGN France is pretty much body shaming this model just for looking so much better than the average American pig. Let's be honest, most of them do look like pigs. You want to know how based Koreans are? Well, check out her modeling agency which pretty much roasted IGN France who insulted shift-ups and their work. Maxim actually didn't roast them all that much, but they proved IGN France wrong and criticized the concept of political correctness as they should. So guess what? In the midst of all of this culture war bullshit, we have a ray of sunshine today. Yoko Taro, the creative director and scenario writer for the Dragon Guard and Nier series, has joined together with fellow creative director Hyung Tai Kim to be interviewed by IGN. What? No, no, all right. I know that sounds bad. Okay, that does sound a bit bad. IGN's French branch insulted the director and his work before. I don't know why IGN set up this interview, but it's probably to save face after the massive fumble the French branch made. How silly of them. Hyung Tae Kim is the CEO of Shift Up and the creative director of Stellar Blade. The Korean and Japanese creatives were brought in by IGN for an interview regarding Stellar Blade, and Yoko Taro pretty much gave his stamp of approval to Hyung Tae Kim and his creation. Many people thought that the debut trailer for Project Eve took inspiration from the design philosophy of Near Automata, and they were absolutely correct in that assumption. Mr. Kim explains after being asked, I've been inspired by Nier Automata in so many ways that it's hard to point out one specific thing. The game has so many fascinating elements. The image of a strong female warrior in a devastated world left by its inhabitants struck me. I was also impressed by the quality of the story. I enjoyed playing the game so much and, of course, I saw all the endings. However, since Mr. Yoko's talent as a storyteller is exceptional, I can't do anything similar. Besides the bigger plot and structure, Stellar Blade's story is different from Nier Automata. It really inspired me in many ways, including the gameplay. Mr. Yoko, since you were kind enough to come over today, do I understand correctly that you approve of a game that is so highly inspired by your work? Stellar Blade is a really amazing game. I'd say that it's much better than Nier Automata. I have been acquainted with Mr. Kim's work since Magna Carta, Tears of Blood. Your illustrations are of a very high quality. So while I'm the older one, to me in this industry, you're my senior. That sure is some high praise coming from the creator of the iconic 2B character. Let's listen further. Taro-san goes a bit further on how Japanese players view him. In Japan, you're well known by gamers as a legendary developer. When Blade and Soul came out, I remember being amazed by its 3D graphics. I think you directed the game's art. Not just the illustrations, but also the 3D models were very well done. I was surprised by the quality of Korean games when I saw it. Truly incredible. From this interview, we can clearly see the love and passion Yoko Taro and Hyung Tae Kim have for gaming, as well as beautiful women. Going further into the interview, we can see the two directors sharing war stories and reminiscing on things they inspired them to make the things that they wanted to make. 
Battle Angel Alita gets a shout out by Mr. Kim, and Tarosan actually mentions one of the most infamous anime of all time, Neon Genesis, Evangelion. These two are brimming with so much Eastern culture goodness that I think I might die from a sugar rush because these two men are so sweet. You can look up the entire interview yourself if you wish. I just wanted to highlight some of the parts I found to be nice. 2B and Eve are both going to be partners in crime going forward. Their developers have similar taste, and they each have a massive amount of love and respect for each other. Stellar Blade is going to be a massive success, as long as it keep angering the right type of people. The rest of us will just sit back and enjoy every moment that this game showcases us with. April 26th is so close, you guys. We win every time a freak who's obsessed with the sequel to Gamergate gets triggered by this game. Let's celebrate the upcoming release of Shift Up's masterpiece. The Western gaming circle continues to be mocked by the rest of the world, as it rightfully deserves. Stay based, you guys. Oh, I just realized. There's also an Adam and Eve in Near Automata, as well as Stellar Blade. Hmm, I guess the moral of the story is that gaming is the equivalent to the Garden of Eden, while woke journalists are the devil.